This could be what? Do you remember the last time you 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 finished an entire game on a stream? <sighs> Has that ever happened? Not for a while. Yeah, this could this could be. I think I think you'll be able to get through this. We should be going out. La 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 la. Yeah, I see us on YouTube. I see us on Twitch. Oh, uh, yeah, I think we're live. Hi, Chad. How you all doing? Welcome to Yahtzee Tries, where I have been very careful not to learn anything about what I'm about to play. Uh, Silent Hill, The Short Message. A Correct. No, a 100% no fooling free game. Yeah. That came out on PlayStation 5 for God knows what reason. Possibly to remind us all that Silent Hill exists in time for Silent Hill 2 and whatever real other bullshit yeah. they've got for us. Yeah, this was a game that was revealed at last week's State of Play, and they said and it's out now, and you can download it. And I, we were talking right before we went live. This is a single sitter. This might be the rare Yahtzee stream where we, we just finished this entire game. Well, now I feel under pressure. <laughs> no, no pressure. No pressure. I believe in you. How do you know I won't be a complete crap out at it? You you might. I'm, I, I played through the entirety of the game on my personal stream last Friday, and I was able to get through it. I'm terrible at games, so I think you'll be fine. Okay, we have girl who would be the ugly girl in a high school comedy until they give her a flattering haircut and take her glasses off. Girl? Is this is <laughs> She's all that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and right off the bat, E1 Craze for Life, thank you so much for a $5 dono. Will we start seeing female dogs in Fully Ramblematic at some point in the future? I think we have, haven't we? It's just then the dog with the red bow on the head. There you go. It's easy. Dogette. This is pretty long for an opening quote. Yeah, a little. It's a little. Uh, it's a little wordy. And there was also, uh, understandably, there was that. Um, there was that uh, uh, sort of trigger warning, the suicide, the suicide warning at the beginning. And oh, it's, it's right. one thing we're going to see that several times during the stream, which is uh, well, what do you expect? Well, what, what do they think we'll expect? It's a Silent Hill game. They're about trauma. I, I completely agree. I think it's more weird that that's, we're going to revisit that warning several times. I'm like, well, we're still in the thing. Oh. We already got the warning once. Fair enough. And uh, Rob Knob, uh. thank you so much for an 11.99 euro dono. My short message for Capcom after playing this thing is screw you. Konami. Not Capcom. Uh, Konami, why did I say Capcom? I don't know. Why did you say Capcom? I don't did, did, know. Is that, has <laughs> Capcom done something to annoy you recently? I've been the pocket. No, they've been pretty good lately. <laughs> Um, one interesting thing about this is this is the first Japanese developed uh, Silent Hill game since Silent Hill 4. For whatever so that's worth. A, right. Yeah, because the four Japanese ones are, are great. And then we hey, had hey, four hey, Western hey, ones. Hey, 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 PT. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. And thank you, game, for reminding me of it with this opening moment in which we wake yes. up in a dingy basement with a phone. Do you think... Do you think when that this got released, like uh, Kojima felt like a, a shudder down his spine, and he was like, "Someone took my game." Wait, how did we get in here? Or did we stumble yeah, in same. here and lose our memories? No, never a Silent Hill game about uh, an unreliable narrator who doesn't know what's going on. Not in my Silent Hill. Well, let's give it a chance. I mean, uh, my expectations for this are abysmally low. So, you know, it's only the only way it can go is up. I will say, of the Silent Hill things released in the last six months, which is this and that Silent Hill weird choose-your-own-adventure communal gotcha scheme. Oh, God, I've even forgotten than, what that's called. This is better than that. I believe it was Silent Hill Ascension. Oh, so this place didn't always suck. Our parents dreamed of this. Okay, so... There's a town that went to shit. Yep, that sounds like Silent Hill. Yeah, but we're going to learn. We're in Germany. We're in oh. Deutschland. Oh, we are in the yeah. Deutschland. Now is the time, yeah. to, the, now is the time to, to dance. <laughs> Finally, Silent Hill in Germany. I've waited this whole time. 
And Mahu Yusei with a 499 dono. Thank you so much. Super stoked for the new Adventures Nigh this weekend. Will we see Buka de Beppo return to play at some point? I am also incredibly excited for Adventures Nigh. New episode this Saturday. The first of three new episodes wrapping up season three. Uh, maybe Buka will return. Buka didn't die, so that's a positive. Uh, he's still around. Same can't be said about other people, but Buka didn't die. And even the ones who died are still around in some way. That's true. Around. That isn't real. Uh, Benjamin Street with a 10-pound dono. Thank you so much, Benjamin. And Rob Knob with a 5.99 euro dono. Also, I can't stop thinking about the main character here as the girl from Forspoken. Just as annoying, too. I don't know. She seems fine so far. Yeah, she just She's... seems like a teenage girl who's in a spooky place. Looking for a pal. Ooh, is this live-action video? What it is! is. What is this? The <laughs> sex mini game in Like a Dragon Infinite Well. <laughs> so uncomfortable. I think I said the exact same thing. I was like, ooh, FMV, what are you doing here? What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. This is uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> okay people just don't talk like that though it is strange and it's also um dubbed weirdly i think is it because i didn't i think so maybe it's because i've got the headphones on and the capture card is like two seconds behind but uh i didn't no, notice I was... any like lip not sinking no when i when i was playing on stream i was like is this dubbed what's going on here Okay, so this person we're looking for is a graffiti artist like Banksy. Mm-hmm. And who specializes in, in cherry blossoms. And she, told, and she told us to come here. Yeah, is, we don't know we is, don't know is, why we're here. And we don't know why. Abandoned tenement in, in somewhere in Deutschland. Uh, Ellie Berry with a four ninety nine dono. Thank you so much, Ellie Berry. How would you two rank the original four Silent Hill games? I go four, two, three, one. That was Ellie's ranking. Four, two, three, one. How do you? You obviously rank two at the top. Where does it go from there? Uh, I actually rate four pretty high. Yeah. I know a lot of people don't. I, I rank it higher than three. I'd say. I've often said I consider three a bit overrated. Because I think yeah. the tying stuff back to the plot of the first game was a bit lame. Yeah, it was a little bit of a was a little bit of a crutch. I feel like hey. two, three, and four all have their own merits that could any day be in the first spot. And I'd probably put one at the bottom just because it's. It I feels remember a this. Primitive. I remember this imagery from the uh, Silent Hill announcement stream from a while back. Yeah, so that's the weird thing is people think this is connecting into uh, there's another game in development called Silent Hill F. Yeah, that has this sort of Sakura imagery, but seems to take place in like a more like sort of a, a, a past version of a Japanese of a Japanese town, like kind of like feudal Japanese. Oh, child abuse. Yep, it's trauma, everyone. Thanks for playing. <laughs> trauma in my Silent Hill. Get out of town. Oh, is this our mum? This is our the room relating to our mum. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say anything. We might get some personal trauma in here. Ooh. Those are so, yeah. There's just so many notes. I know. It's really important we remember that we're a loser. <laughs> don't forget. It's like the dude in Memento. <laughs> you got a tat tattoo yeah, on your just, chest. Yeah, tattoo. You remember, you are a loser. <laughs> Uh, Dida, thank you, uh, says, so if this is Germany, shouldn't it be a Stiller Hügel? I'm assuming that's Silent Hill in German, which I appreciate. Yeah, yeah Stiller Hügel. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> bit, bit on the nose, isn't it? Yeah, that's, uh... I was, I was gonna say, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I don't want to spoil anything for you while you play this, but my one thing was like, oh, this is... Like there's no subtext in this game. It's just it's just pure text the yeah, whole way yeah. through. Yeah, so right, right off, just right on the surface there. Mm -hmm. yeah, I thought we were crouching down, and suddenly we're standing up again. Continuity, people. 
So our mum killed okay. herself in the bath, is what I'm taking from this. Yeah, we, uh, we I don't know, was that, were we watching Visions of an Arm? Was that our arm? It's really no way of knowing. Oh, it's Emily again. <laughs> so you wouldn't s put someone's name in a person's text to them. They know what their fucking name is. It's, yeah, if it's a one-to-one -one thing, you, you'd be like signing off your own text. Yeah. Uh, Max KO with a five dollar dono. Thank you so much, Max. Here's a few bucks to get you guys to GDC. Can't wait to see what Yahtzee thinks of this game. Thank you so Thank much, you Max. Much. Oh. Well, you don't, we don't need the money to get me to GDC because I live no. right next to it. Well, you could you could expense like the train pass. <laughs> I suppose. I suppose. <laughs> but the expensive thing is getting folks like uh, Nick and Jamate and uh, Omar yes. and company there. Bar is yeah, very be... affordable these days, especially mm -hmm. if you've got one of those pass cards. There you go. Uh, Sebastian with the file I don't know as well. Thank you so much, Sebastian. Is Silent Hill now public domain, or are the IP owners just whoring it out to anyone and everyone who likes, uh, like Game Workshop does with Warhammer? It's, no, it's, it's still weird. Konami. They just are. Yeah. Konami just sort of sat on it for a few years. And then, yeah. out, of no then out of nowhere, the whole announcement stream happened and announced Silent Hill 2 remake and 10 million other things. Yeah, indie games and giving it to a bunch of different studios. So, Oh, wait. Yeah. Sorry. I'm supposed to be terrified right now. Uh, oh, yeah. A thing with a vibrate head. Ooh, yes, I watched Jacob's Ladder too. Oh, ah! no. Are you getting some good vibrations in the controller? Uh, it's a little bit rumble bumble, since you asked. Oh, it also, is the is the controller chirping at you when you get a text? I like that. I like when my controller talks every once in a while. Oh, uh, I think I got confused. I looked away from the screen for a second. Oh, no. I forgot to actually walk through the door after I opened it. Oh, funny. Oopsie so poopsie. Yeah, this is the only uh, the only kind of obstacle uh, in the game is uh, this um, monster, this Sakura thing. It's a it's a one hit killer. That's right. one expects from a thing like this. Uh, yeah, it's it's one of those. It's one of those, and uh, yeah, I'll, we'll we'll see how you feel about it. But it it, it goes from uh, for me, it went from pretty 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 spooky at first to um, you could you see the mechanics through it very quickly. Yeah, he's a spooky old sod. <laughs> Okay. What's your opinion on uh, how horror is affected by having to listen to the main character saying things like "What the fuck" and breathing very hard as they as they proceed? I think uh, games are afraid of uh, putting the player in silence. I like, think games like are sitcoms like, with, with like sitcoms, kind of, yeah, kind of loved her. Yeah, I don't. I mean, okay. With with full disclosure, this is gonna be a, a kind of a revelation. I've never been chased by a Sakura monster before, um, but I don't know if I'd be saying anything. Maybe I'd be saving my breath and instead of saying things, just focusing on running and getting away from it. So um, the constant narration feels like uh, yeah, I don't know, a crutch. Because I've tried like writing like horror adventure games where I'd like. Have the character do a lot of talking and a lot of sort of emotional talking, and I've wondered mm -hmm. why it didn't really work. And I look back at my favorite horror games like Silent Hill Two, where the characters are all really emotionally restrained, and I think that's yeah. part of it. Yeah, and maybe you get some introspection if you're like checking things in the environment. You get a little bit of what they're, uh, what's going on behind the behind the curtains. Mm. Oh, here we go. Man, that coat is like three sizes too big for her. <laughs> With most flowers, the rot sets in, then they fall. That's the price of your life. It's possible I'm not giving this game the chance it deserves by dabbling all over it. I, I played it on stream as well, so you're giving it the same chance I did. Uh, but since this is a uh, video, this is full motion video. These these cutscenes yeah. are filmed with a camera. Uh, Robo knob the snob with a four a five ninety nine euro dono. Thank you so much. Imagine if Silent Hill two started with someone screaming, "James, you're a pervy pervy dude." That's how this thing feels. <laughs> I feel like that's exactly what a lot of modern horror would do. Like, you think that's what the Bloober Team remake's going to be? He's going to look into the mirror, touch his face, and be like, James, you little perv, you little goblin, why did you do it? I think what it's going to do is it's going to foreshadow everything with sort of very quick flashes, you know? 
Like someone looks uh, at a, yeah. so like he looks at uh, the room that says there was a hole here. It's gone now, and then it'll just be a flash of you know Mary getting murdered, and they'll be like, "Ooh, what was that all about?" Because uh, you got to keep people excited somehow. Yeah. Oh, James. Uh, Alex Armstrong with a $10 dono. Thank you so much. Love your previous semi ramblematic about plot twists, and I'm curious. Do you think uh, the twists and infamous and prototypes still hold up where, spoilers, turns out you were the villain slash virus all along? I still like the prototype twist. I always oh. I complained that the, that the prototype 2 didn't seem to acknowledge it at all. Um, did infamous have a twist? Well, I kind of been very good there. <laughs> I don't remember it. I do remember I mean, Infamous Two had a had uh, a really good ending, but I wouldn't say there was a twist. Wasn't it less twists and more of binary choices? Like you could kind of yeah. go good or go bad. Yeah, yeah, you could either be the good guy or the bad guy. Yeah. Uh, Humane Shield with a two dollar dono. Thank you so much. Why do most horror games struggle with subtlety? I think subtlety. Well, I think most games struggle with subtlety. I think, I think it's triple- tough. Triple A games struggle with yeah, subtlety because they got to the, got to put all the money on screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The indie space, I guess, is where you see subtlety. Yeah, you want a subtle horror game? Play something like Duskers or mm-hmm. Lone Survivor. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Citrus, thank you so much for the dono. Noisy Hill. I get it. The opposite of silence. Wait, why are we conversing about college now? I thought we were worried about our friend in a haunted monster place. Worry about a lot of things. Hey, our, what you up? What you, hey, what are you up to? Uh, not much. Uh, how are you? <laughs> Just sort of fighting for my life in a yeah. hideous, horrific survival situation. <laughs> what you doing? Uh, thank you so much for the resub. <coughs> Sakura Basura. That's why I ended up calling the monster because it's it was Sakura after the plant and garbage because I didn't like it. It was garbage mm-hmm. in Spanish. Really doesn't get it. And Alex Armstrong with a ten dollar dono. Thank you so much. All these donos, uh, wonderful. Keep them coming, guys. Uh, Yachts, dumb question, but I want to double check. Since we're up to the latest Adventures Night episode, and since it technically shares the same cop, uh, character design as ZP, will y'all be wearing glasses to avoid copyright? No. Um, uh, nope. the, gla- the glasses in Fully Romantic were, in retrospect, perhaps a trifle overzealous. <laughs> but I, I kind of like it now, so I'm sticking with it. Yeah. Uh, no, Adventures Night is, uh, is fully owned by uh, Jack and Omar, and so... Um, if anything, just expect it to look better than previous episodes did. And as long as I'm with you, I can have fun anywhere. <clears throat> so, on a scale of 1 to 10, how metaphorical is all of this? I mean... It's more of like I mean the Sakura thing is like a, a Sakura. It, it uh, the tree kind of blossoms and the leaves fall right when they're at their most beautiful. So right. it's like the metaphor is oh, uh, ending a life at its most beautiful. So um, on the nose, mm, a trifle. Yeah. Uh, Mason Carrier with a $10 dono. Thank you so much, Mason. The dialogue here is weird, but I don't think the dialogue itself is unnatural. I've personally been in some dangerous situations in my town, and I was cursing myself like crazy. We just need more fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, I'm curious, chat. What What is a game where the characters barks or speaking to themselves or anything does seem like natural like if oh, this always, feels weird what is an example of a game where it doesn't feel weird? i always liked it in thief and thief 2 when uh okay. it'd be mostly quiet but then garrett would walk into like a part of the mansion house and just in his very cool sexy voice would say it's a throne room <laughs> how ah, pretentious like can you get i like that <clears throat> you dumbass because <laughs> she wanted to bone you i can tell oh uh, no from hubba hubbas i'm all the i'm all the live action video 
uh, chat is saying a couple of uh, games that do it well are uh, Geralt in uh, Witcher 3, Red Dead Redemption 2, Prince of Persia, Samson Times, Alien Isolation, mm. Condemned 2. I think we're just naming games we like now. Oh, relevant to today's youth. Uh oh. The, the constant quest for likes in the world of social yeah. media. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, horror just loves this sort of skipping video effect, doesn't it? Yeah. That, this is what Silent Hill 2 is going to be full of. <laughs> And uh, QWERTY with five Canadian dollars. Thank you so much, QWERTY. Second wind, I hope you are successful in this new endeavor. And Yachts, one of your best things you did was judging by the cover. Any plans on resurrecting? Nope. There you go. Cover judged. There's not covers anymore. We don't have covers. No. All exactly. games are digital. Because it would be judging by the key art these days. <laughs> Uh, Sunoma so Deuter with a $5 dono. Thank you so much. Greetings to you two. In both of your opinions, what audience does this game seem to appear to uh, appeal to? You got me. <laughs> I mean, I think it's uh, the, 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 the big, like you mentioned, the social media thing, the um, uh, addiction folks have to, um, mm. you know, getting uh, words of affirmation online uh, seems to point towards a younger generation. I don't know if that younger generation cares about Silent Hill. I don't know if people in their, I don't know if teenagers in early 20s well, care about Silent Hill. Hold the phone. Did somebody say something about Maya being dead? <gasps> dun dun dun! Boy, that was the speed version of that twist, wasn't it? Yeah, I can read. Thanks, game. Uh, Robonob, thank you so much for another 249 dono. Phone bad, graffiti good. That is the theme of the game, correct? That's uh, Black Mirror, isn't it? Phone bad. That is pretty much just Black <laughs> That's it's Charlie Booker's Silent Hill. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Oh no, it's that effect that the Silent Hill movie introduced that we can't oh, get away from. Where like the, you see the crumbling into the, the bad realm or whatever? Yeah. yeah. So the bad realm is just post-it notes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess if the bad realm is a manifestation of the, the person, so I guess a, a bad realm Dave. of this person who is heavily concerned with what other people think of her would uh, online would be these tiny words of whatever the opposite of affirmation is affirmation okay D i kind of like kind of liked how i just like ran straight into the monster with no ceremony and it was just there yeah it was just yeah Yeah, you're being chased by a kill monster. Just, just wanted to point that out. <laughs> we need to prioritize right now. Yeah, this is more a sort of uh, playable think piece, really, isn't it? Yeah, there's some more, some more, a few gamey things will pop up. Mm -hmm. Also, I 100% thought this was the end of it. When I was playing on stream, I was like, is this it? Are we done? We're not done. Maybe I can be like her. Here goes. <laughs> 
do a flip. Yeah, comments were slightly ahead of me there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. See, this is what I mean. It's sort of the game has the, uh, a, like, loops, kind of. And at the beginning of every loop, you get one of those. I was like... Sort of kills the effect, doesn't it? A little bit. It, it, it totally makes sense leading into it. Like, I'm, I'm not against uh, those kind of warnings, but it's, it seems strange to, like, interrupt should, the thing with them. Yeah, I think you should just start with one, and then everyone knows where they are. Yeah, exactly. And you can opt in or opt out. You don't need to keep breaking the fourth wall like that. Agreed. Like, sorry, um, sorry, are you traumatized? Sorry, sorry, we didn't mean to traumatize you. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Alex Armstrong with a file I don't know. Thank you so much. Infamous showed that you were the bad guy who went back in time to speed up the making of the race sphere to help good. Oh, that's right. Uh, they, to stop the beast in the sequel. I don't the, remember that. The big baddie was old you. I remember now. Oh, no. It wasn't a very good twist. <laughs> uh, Humane Shield with a dollar ninety nine dono. Thank you so much. Is this Silent Hill bad enough to be funny? Again, I don't. Th I personally don't think this is in. This isn't in the, the the cellar of Silent Hill. There's plenty of Silent Hill games in the cellar. This is mm. one floor above the cellar. I wouldn't say the main floor, but we're not in a sub basement. Just a regular basement. Well, at least it's short. It is short, and it's nice. It's free. Some of the environments look kind of cool. Oh, uh, Josh Knowles with a $2. Oh, go ahead. Bloody mum again. Ah, classic <laughs> mum. Uh, Josh Knowles with a $2 dono. Thank you so much. Either of you played the Long Dark Story campaign? Uh, uh, no, that's like a popular survival game. Like outdoors, cold outside no, game. can't say I yeah. did. Sorry. I suppose there's a run button. You, I think the right trigger lets you run, but only during um, Sakura sections, Sakura Basura sections. Okay. Uh, Robo Knob the Snob with an eleven ninety nine euro dono. Thank you so much, Robo Knob. Uh, reading the suicide prevention message, telling you to quote take one brave step right after she takes a step off the roof was legitimately the most I laughed in a while. You know. Strange. Placement is strange. That'd almost be cool if it was intentional, but I highly doubt it was. Oh, like if those messages, if the first one is like yeah. legitimate and then they start kind of deteriorating as the game goes on, like a spec opsy thing or the. Yeah, yeah. Because, you yeah. know, the, hopefully the first one filters out the actual trauma survivors who don't want to yeah, see it yeah. in the game. Might as well have fun with it after that. Yeah. Uh, yep, there's the next one. Uh, Space Audio, thank you so much for the five dollar dono. When was the last time a game made you uh, left you feeling genuinely surprised? I must be a curmudgeon because it seems like nothing really surprises me anymore. Um, I guess I was quite, uh, I quite liked Cocoon when the first bit you sort of jump out of the world, and I was like, yeah, oh, I, oh this is cool. I always ju I, if I like laugh to myself and like. In a that's pretty clever way, I know they did something right. Mm. Yeah, puzzle games are able to do that. Oy. Paper bags. Yeah, that gave me a. I didn't like that. <laughs> I turned around, I was like, get these guys out of here. I don't like this at all. That was a classic jump scare from Condemned. That was. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they with did. the mannequins moving. Yeah, they liked it so much, yeah. they did it exactly the same in the sequel. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, a room full of mannequins. Spinning this old disc again, are we? <laughs> oh, it's Emily again. Uh, Clovis Reich with a five ninety nine pound dono. Uh, no message. Thank you, Clovis. Thank you. 
Uh, and producer Eric says, do you think this is a free small experience because it was an idea they explored but didn't, uh, but decided not to make it as a full game? I don't know. I'm really curious why this exists. Not like uh, in a snarky way, but in a like, why didn't this cost money? Is this like a prelude to something bigger? It's not like this is, as far as I know, this doesn't have a secret ending like uh, PT did where it's like, right. oh, and this is actually a teaser for Silent Hills. Like this is just a thing. Maybe it ties uh, into all the other ones, but do we do we know who developed this besides Konami? Uh, it is uh, a Konami internal team, and then a uh, third party Japanese studio called Hexa Drive, who um, has like worked on Bomberman games in the past. They did one of the Resident Evil Seven DLCs. Mm. Um, yeah, nothing nothing major. Interesting though is the uh, the the director of the game, uh, Matoi Akamoto. I looked him up, and I'm like, what's this guy's deal? Worked at Nintendo for a long time. Directed Wii Play. If anyone remembers Wii Play, that game sold like a bazillion copies because it came with a Wiimote. It was just right. a collection of minigames. So. Right. Right. No real through line between the two, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think this exists basically just because Konami's doing their big Silent Hill push, and this is one of the... Yeah. I guess this, is, this was like a side project that, I guess, for whatever reason, they felt they couldn't really expand beyond more than a sort of proof of concept which i, I guess like to you know to give I, I, them a compliment they could have charged for this i feel like, like this could have been a ten dollar thing and it wasn't i feel like you know like most uh, productions there was probably they were probably of a mind to charge for it when they first conceived it but then sure. sort of Felt like they didn't want to because it was more of a B project and they had bigger projects they mm -hmm. wanted to build up more hype for. And yeah. after the success of High Five Rush being shadow dropped, everyone's yeah. like, hey, let's just surprise people with stuff. That seems to go down well. Yeah, even uh, even last night, Square um, Square released the uh, Final Fantasy VII uh, Rebirth demo that uh, carries over into the main game. So you can just download and kind of get a head start in the game. Okay, I wouldn't be doing that, but okay. You don't need. To, you don't have to be doing that. I'm gonna tell you one person who did do it. <coughs> I did it. it oh, you, oh, you! It was great. That cloud. Oh. <clears throat> I mean, you think people would use text messages rather than post-it notes these days? But I guess that's. <laughs> A harder thing to work into the format. <laughs> it's less visually appealing. Yeah. This is for the college Amelie wants to go to. Uh, Loki Coyote, uh, been a member for a month in the Green Gang. Thank you so much, Loki. Seen so many Steam horror games like this. Yeah, yeah that is one yeah. thing. Is like Silent Hill felt very unique, even up through four. Whereas this kind of first-person horror. If you pay attention on Steam, you're like, oh, these come out all the time. Yeah, fucking itch.io, just, uh, hey, yeah. it's a PS1-styled horror game where you're a, yeah. you're a child in a house and there's an intruder. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, you go to a spooky house and secretly you're a trauma victim and the spooky yep. house starts going weird. Yeah, it's tough to do original horror. I think it's, I occasionally amuse myself watching like YouTube walkthroughs of such things. There was one I watched recently called The Windows Have Gone, which is like textbook, what I'm talking about. Mm. The Windows Have Gone. Yeah. It seems like backroom stuff has become the new, like, yeah. theme du jour and that kind of stuff. Well, we used to call it Slender the Eight Pages stuff. Yeah. God, yeah. That was huge for a little bit. So huge, those two girls in Wisconsin killed another girl. And they said it was because of the Slender Yeah, man. yeah, the one thing that everyone knows about Wisconsin. Bring it up again. And Jack. And Jack. <laughs> Jack Packard. The, the girls who killed the girl because of the Slender Man. The big two. Mom, Dad, I'm going to study my ass off and be the best daughter ever. Thanks. <laughs> Famous last words. Oh, dear. Uh, John with a five dollar dono. Thank you so much, John. Good luck to everyone with a stake in this venture. I admire your guts. I genuinely enjoy how varied uh, how the very talent is regularly highlighted. Thank you so much, John. You've got great videos coming out from everyone. You got Design Dell from Jamay. You got Cold Take and Chronicle from, from Frost and Jesse. You got Good Blood now coming out. Nick's doing his essays. Oh, doggy. We have a big video we're working on that. It's going to be twelve uh, uh, games we loved uh, from Steam Next Fest. And it's going to have a bunch of different voices in it. Casey, Casey's on that edit, so look for that in the coming days. 
Uh, Schottenjäger. Interesting. I didn't know about this. Uh, forgiveness if Yachts mentioned this earlier, but I suspect one of the reasons Konami's decided to make games again is that Japan just passed laws regulating pachinko-like gambling instead of like something like Chuck E. Cheese. Oh. That is... What is... How cynical of you to think that. <laughs> Which would that come in? I've, I guess I should pay more attention. <laughs> Not that way. Uh, Baradis with a two dollar dono. Thank you so much. Sad that if it's good, I can't play due to fear. Well, that's what we're here for. Watch if you watch someone else play, it's kind of less scary. Yes. There's goofing, it's a smaller window. Yes, don't you worry. We're all horribly jaded men. Mm -hmm. I will say the one, the the that jump scare from earlier with the with the mannequin with bags in their heads that got that was probably the one thing that got me. Yeah, for me, it was later. running into the monster in the middle of the. Actual gameplay very, section. Very mean monster. Oh, you just wait up. You're gonna have a puzzle section with action. I'm not gonna help you at all, and I'm gonna see if you suffered like I did. Okay. Nicht betreten. Beautiful. Uh, Sebastian with a five dollar dono. Thank you so much, Sebastian. The most horrifying thing to come out of the video game industry of late is the endless stream of live service games. Yay! Don't worry. Hopefully, Suicide Squad killed the live service genre. Well, we'll find out when I review it in a couple of weeks. Dun dun dun! Oh hey, light. What could possibly go wrong? Slamming my face. Slamming my face. I dare you. No. John Lee with a good point, Yahtzee. Do you have your uh, toffee companion dog? Oh, yeah. Comfrey? These right okay. down here. Keeping me safe from the monsters. Okay, place your bets, people. Are we going to open this door and it'll be exactly the same hallway again? Oh, with some added monsters. Bookies. Oh, dear. It's It's... It's high school, everyone. This is what it's like. <laughs> this is German high school. Don't question it. Uh, King Toast with a one ninety nine euro uh, pound dono. Thank you so much, King Toast. Apart from the name, does it feel like a Silent Hill game? What does that mean these days? I mean, that's a great question. Yeah, <laughs> that is a very good question. <laughs> Your art's weird. That's why we're shunning you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, most high school kids don't need even that excuse. Oh yeah, you it's have like bullying just makes me feel good. You have red hair. That's usually all you know you need. <laughs> you have Irish blood. But your left leg is eleven millimeters shorter than your right. <laughs> No one is more enthusiastic about bullying than the bullies in this sort of thing. Yeah. Fictional bullies love to bully. Yeah. Uh, Zeph with 10 Australian dollars. Thank you so much, Zeph. Uh, I think this was made because it's a random document slash audio log that explains... Uh, because it has a document slash uh, random audio log that explains the most ham-fisted way how Silent Hill can happen outside of the town of Silent Hill. Uh. Uh, in that it's the most ridiculous uh, addition to the Silent Hill lore. Yeah, oh, so we're, put, we're doing a uh, Freddy's Dead the Final Nightmare, are we? Every town has bit. an Elm Street. It's pretty much that, like, well, if the town's got trauma, <laughs> it's it's a, a foggy atmosphere, then we can get ourselves a nice little Silent Hill here. I love it if they just go to like somewhere like Norway, and they were just like, oh shit, everyone's just really happy. Yeah, they're just, no, no one's got trauma. Well, this was a waste of time. Oh no, I'm traumatized by the time I left my quiche out. I left the quiche out of the fridge and it went bad. <laughs> Just whole rooms full of giant rotting quiche. <laughs> rotting quiche. What a terrible combination of words. I don't like that at all. 
This is very, uh, blooper team, though. What, the, uh, on the nose? On the nose you, bit? No, have you ever played, um, something like Layers, Layers, of, of, Layers of Fear 2? Like, mm -hmm. Layers of Fear 2 was, like, all this. Dull, bloody paper bag things. Oh, you saucy, saucy doors. Aha! This particular decrepit room is safe. <laughs> you just... I'm excited you're 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 making your way towards I'm excited for you to get to the finale because uh <clears throat> you're gonna have some thoughts on it. I'll bet. Uh late to the party with a one ninety nine dono. Thank you so much, late to the party. So foam stars next. That's the only way to truly uh wash down the taste of the short message. The I, foam stars. I haven't got PlayStation Plus and I don't really want to have to we it. discovered earlier that you can't even purchase Foam Stars with human money. You can only get it by being a PlayStation Plus member. What a time to be alive. Okay. Anyway, it's just Splatoon, isn't it? Yes. By all accounts. But with, but with suds. But with cleaning instead of dirtying. Okay, what now? Boom. Okay, now we can look at it because we looked at yeah, yeah. The, the book. Skizenbuch. I laughed at that same thing every time I saw it. Oh my. Uh, the Dam says, I wonder whose music was wasted on this game. It was Akira Yamaoka. He, they just, he just can't keep away, can he? He just doesn't he say no to it. anything. Got bills to pay. He did music for World of Tanks, I understand. <laughs> That's right. That is absolutely right. Absolutely anything even vaguely Silent Hill related, they get Kira bloody Yamo in. I mean, if it's just muscle memory to you at this point, then just roll out of bed, knock it out, cash that paycheck. I appreciate it. Uh, Incarnadine, thank you so much for gifting a sub over to Pork Chop Excess in Twitch. Oh, how nice. Pork Chop Excess. John Belize says, hear me out, Konami and Square Partnership, Power Wash Simulator, Silent Hill. It's not terrible. It's not a terrible idea. Oh, is this live action us? Oh, like, are we behind the camera? Oh, no, that was our sister, or whatever. Other bespectacled girl. <laughs> yeah, I think it's supposed to be you and the, the friend that you're texting currently. Right. Is it going to be turned out that we killed Maya? You, that'll that'll you, be annoying. You, that'll, just, that'll just be the straight. <laughs> that'll just be the straight Jimbo Sunderland twist, wouldn't it? You are Jimbo Sunderland. Howdy, y'all, Jimbo Sunderland here. Uh, speak easy, that is right. Uh, uh, Masahiro Ito um, did the monster design, design Sakura Basura in this game. Ito, known for designing. Uh, art director of the, the original games and designing Pyramid Head and whatnot. Wow, all those bullies had the same handwriting. <laughs> That's how you can spot a bully. You can spot them by uh, handwriting yeah. tests. Block capitals. Yeah. Dead, dead giveaway. A uh, confused Frenchman with a 599 euro dono. Thank you so much. Been loving the Silent Hill soundtracks these days. Sadly, they've proven quite unpopular at house parties. That's shocking to me. 
Shocking to me. It would be unpopular at a house party. Hmm. Read it when you get home, Caps Lock 3 with a $2 dono. Thank you so much, Caps Lock. Any chance of playing the Station Wagon game? I assume you're talking about Pacific Drive, unless there's, like, another Station Wagon game. Uh, uh, but, yeah, that game comes out in, like, a week or two. Uh, it seems pretty cool. I haven't got a chance to play it yet. I know there's a demo on Next Fest right now. Did you yeah, play that okay. at all? I think, I, I think that's the one I played at GDC. And, yeah, I'm interested. Looks yeah. like fun. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of smaller games coming out for the rest of the month, so I feel like you'll have good fodder for Yahtzee tries, for things that couldn't quite make uh, mm. semi-ramblematic, or uh, fully ramblematic reviews, but stuff to check out. Oh, we mentioned that uh, we're putting a hold on the edited Yahtzee tries videos for a little bit. Yeah, um, I, I can't remember if we said that on one of the streams, but uh, just the next like month or two, uh, Jack and Omar are in a Preparation Hell for Adventures Nye Season 4 and wrapping up Season 3. Um, and then immediately following the Adventures Nye trip uh, at the beginning of March is uh, GDC. And so they're not able to do their normal work. And so that's all being sort of passed down to, to Jesse and, and Matt and folks uh, below them. And so... Um, we're just we're just tabling the edited versions of Yahtzee tries until everyone's schedule gets normal. Don't yeah, worry, it's not so canceled. It's coming so back. Th so there won't be a, a cut review mm -hmm. of this on Sunday, but there might be one in some ways down the line. Exactly. Okay, what were we looking for? A book to put in the shelf? Yes. <sighs> Well, I picked a good place to hide the fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> Truly. Uh, Schiff Salt. Uh, yes, this takes place in Germany. This is uh, not Japan. This is Germany. Surely some, of the, some of the documents you read uh, sort of say that this was like a, a housing complex that was supposed to be revitalized, but then everything fell apart during the 2008 housing crisis, or 2008 just economic crisis. Right. And then... Uh, uh, Chinese investment came back in and it was like, all right, we're going to, it's, it's, it's 2019, 2020, we're going to revitalize this thing. And then COVID hit. And so it was like, oh, this place is just doomed. Surely the book we're looking for isn't going to be elsewhere on the shelves. That would be too obvious. Yeah, so I can't remember where the book is. It is uh, ultimately, uh, it's a relatively obvious prompt, I believe. Yeah, it expects as much. I don't know, is it on the table? One of the tables, or...? Mm -hmm. Oh, hang on, open door. Aha! Always head towards the spooky hallway. <laughs> I made a joke that that hallway is colored exactly like Newport cigarettes during mm -hmm. um, during my stream, and it is insane to me that it is just Newport cigarettes. That was the exact same coloring of them. So I don't know if that was on purpose or. Hey, some rascally children just ran past us. Oh no! They put their. They put their smudgy hands everywhere. What a bunch of little assholes. Someone has to clean up around here. Oh, so Maya was bullied. Oh, no. Yeah, so our artist, our Sakura artist, was the victim of bullying. Were we one of the bullies? Is that the twist? Might be getting warmer. Were we one of the ones who pushed her to suicide? You might be And it was warmer. actually Emily who was the friend with Maya. You might be getting warmer. Oh, fucking... <laughs> mm. 
We did something that led to her suicide, though. I'm taking that as red at this point. I think you're, I think you're safe with that. Uh, Loki Coyote, I streamed this on Friday evening on my personal channel. Well, Leave was released uh, Wednesday evening. Bloody During sod you then, evening. door. <laughs> oh, I think this might be the puzzle. The game, the, the, the one of two puzzles in the game. Right, right. The book. My locker. Why is it locked? Is there something I don't want to see? Okay. Locker codes. Yes, we need to find the locker code. And it is, ah. it is present somewhere in this hallway. Specifically, uh, so now I'm sure with a ten dollar dono. Thank you so much, Yahtzee. Will you be playing Unicorn Overlord? Also, the collection version of that game has a tabletop strategy game included. Have you seen anything on that? Can't say I have. Sorry, I just noticed the numbers. Oh, the zero, numbers. Zero, the numbers. Three. How many numbers uh, did you notice? There's a two over there. Did you get all four? Uh, one of the numbers was very sneaky to me, and I just kept glossing over it. Uh, Unicorn Overlord is the follow-up, uh, VanillaWare's follow-up to 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim, which we were both fans oh, of. It well, is uh, much more, it's more Fire Emblem-y, it seems. Okay. Comes on March or April. Looks pretty well, good. I, I didn't know it has an actual tabletop strategy game with it in the deluxe version. That's pretty well, good. Well, I wasn't though. really huge on 13 Sentinels. You loved it. You said you liked, the thing you liked most was when the, an the anime kids, they had to get naked to go into those robots. Uh, well, I'm sure that's how you remember it. I don't. I don't. If you can think of a better way to pilot big robots other than getting naked inside of them, I would love to hear it. Okay, I give up. Where's the fourth number? Okay, which one do you have? You have ceiling? Do you have back wall? I've got zero, three, and two. Okay, I believe there is a one that is uh, near one of, it's like on like the wall near one of the boards. Like near one of the, the message, message boards? Is there like a one that's like vertical? Well, a one has to be vertical, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess that is. Yeah, I think it's a yellow one, if I remember correctly. You're a I yellow also one. Kept, oh, there uh, it is. I glossed over it. Like, I found the first three immediately like you, and I was like, where are they? Yeah, okay, plus well, it's not immediately obvious what order to put the numbers. I guess if it's in order no. of, like, I think when they occur. In I the went corridor. through depth. I think I did order of depth of the hallway, and I think that's yeah. right. Yeah, so zero three one two. Zero three one two. Boosh. Huzzah. Huzzah. Well, you're going to have to read it out to me, are you? <laughs> I'm a fast reader. I don't have much patience for this sort of thing. Ah. Skip! Skip! Uh, Humane Shield with a 4 dollars dono. Thank you so much. Marty, are you still wanted by the Norweb Federation for your crimes against humanity? Uh, it's a Red Dwarf reference. Don't Norweb panic. Norweb Federation? And Anixia with a two dollar donor, thank you so much. The numbers, Mason, what do they mean? He showed me Call of Duty. A whole new world. Gave me hope. I honestly thought uh SVS Guru, <laughs> who is our resident German in the audience, thank you so much. The lock with a five euro donor. The lockers at my school only used keys, not combination locks. Zero out of ten for accuracy. Ah, no schools Perfect. use combination locks. Apparently. One German school that you know of doesn't use combination locks, ah. and therefore none of them do. They took him away. He 
Uh, and Abdel Corrales, thank you so much for the dono. Hey, guys, congrats on getting paid this month. Have a good game. I mean, after this one. Thank you so much, Abdel. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's society. Okay. Classic society. <coughs> Excuse me. Still coughing all my mucus out from last week. That's always good. You and I could run away together. What is it with indie horror and lesbians running away together? <laughs> find a find a better combination. Started with Gone Home, and it's never ended, has it? Yeah, yeah. I think it's nice. That's going to be my review of it. I think it's nice. Okay, there's the book. Maya, you have everything. You're way more talented than me. So why? Why take Amelie from me? You acted like I wasn't even there. Yeah, yeah, we hate, we hate. Kill, kill, hate, hate, kill, kill. You sound like a kill robo. Eric sent me a news story that Disney is investing $1.5 billion into Epic Games to create an expansive and open games and entertainment universe connected to Fortnite. Finally, the metaverse continues. Okay. We're still, well, we unclear. Money on else. We're still unclear on what we actually did to Maya, but I guess that'll come up soon. Yes, it all it all starts. Uh, right. It'll we, all start start coming together. We made her kill herself. Yeah, I figured that much. You know what? If you're pointing a finger at a bully, maybe you got four fingers pointed back at yourself because you're the bully. I don't that think sounds, that's how fingers work. That sounds very painful. <laughs> Uh, Max Darat says, how could you, Anita? Max, I've watched several of your Silent Hill videos, so welcome. Thank you oh, for being here. What do you know? Oh, here we go again. What are you running from? The darkness is inside you. You can't oh, run wow. from that forever, James. Oh, I'm sorry, Anita. Not James. Die! Bugger, 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 bugger. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> do not want. Do not want. I like how it's wearing a mini skirt. Pyramid Head never wore a mini skirt. That's true. Well, it's because James didn't have a fashion sense. So, <laughs> so that made sense. Oh, well, he had that cool military jacket, which I liked. Yeah. Uh, Comja Ninja with a $5 dono. Thank you so much, Comja. Maybe it'll be like Outlast 2, and all the children's schoolgirl psychotrauma flashbacks will turn out to be completely and totally unrelated. See? <clears throat> nope, these are all related. Don't you worry about that. And that's what I love about Silent Hill 4, you know? Everything else was trying to recapture Silent Hill 2, but Silent Hill 4 was like, hey, you could be in Silent Hill and just not be traumatized. You could just be yeah. completely an un completely untraumatized doofus and just deal with somebody else's problems. It's gr And it's also great because Silent Hill 4 uh, dares ask the question, what if Silent Hill just fucking sucked as a place? I get to that place and I'm like, I gotta be at the end of it, right? And they're like, no, you gotta go all the way back out of hell. I'm like, oh, God. Again, that is the most... I don't. Th I was not having fun while playing that game, but looking back on it, th I think that's my favorite of, the f of them. It's so good. I know, right? It made me feel something. Uh, Citrus, thank you so much for the dono. My Silent Hill hallway will be full of hungry chihuahuas and toffee. Toffee the dog or Toffee the... Toffee the Toffee? Toffee the confection. Toffee the confection. No, oh, it happened again. Oh, no. One thing is you can... Uh, the game is relatively uh, gracious with you okie-doking the thing. If you just... As soon as you see it, if you just turn around, like, it is not faster than you. Yeah... However, uh, these always are very confusing. Mm -hmm. 
No, this is going on a bit. You just wait. <laughs> you just wait. If you think this one's going on a bit. Oh, here we go. <laughs> we got one more after this. Oh, yeah. It felt like a sort of four-act play situation. Yeah. Yeah, drink it in, bitch. You killed me. I finally get it. I know what you wanted me to find. Anita, what's up? I'm so sorry, Molly. I died because I killed her. Yeah. Yeah, we're all we're all way ahead of you, love. <laughs> you and Maya wrote letters to each other, right? Yeah, but then Maya jumped off the villa roof. Well, there was supposed to be one in the last book you had too. What? That letter. That letter was a message for you. Why are you telling me this, Anita? I was jealous of Maya. I was afraid that she'd take you away from me. We are the baddies. My mom was right. I should never have been born. How many Silent Hill games boil down to We Are the Baddies? Two. We yeah, are the baddies. Two, and then everyone's trying to recapture two, so most of them after that. Yeah. Except four. And you're not the bad. Heather's not the baddies. I'm trying to think of the the Western ones, or we are the baddies. Yeah, well, Silent Hill: Homecoming is absolutely we are the baddies. Silent yeah. Downfall was also we are the baddies. Yeah. Uh, Silent Hill: Shattered Memories. Yeah, it was kind of we are the baddies. Sort of. What about uh, Book of? What was it? Book of Mormon? Silent Hill Book of Mormon? I never what played Book of Mormon. Book of Memories. Yeah. That game's also like 30 hours long. What are you doing making a 30 hour game? Yeah, two homecoming downpour potentially shattered memories. We are the baddies. Ascension, I felt like the baddie because I, for research, put uh, $10 into that game. You so swine. I, personally felt I was the baddie. I'm the problem with it. Yo, what's wrong with gaming? I uh, agree. I agree. Hey, I didn't buy Suicide Squad. That was good. I did it. Uh, Yayo with a 499 dono. Thank you so much, Yayo. What were both of your guys' opinions on the quality of combat in the recent Silent Hill 2 remake trailer? I'm assuming you didn't watch that trailer, did you? I saw some brief bits of it. I saw James having to fight someone off with a quick time event, and I got very yep. sad. Yep. Enemies uh, mantling over uh, low walls. Uh, it it just looks like they looked at this Resident Evil 2 remake and were like, let's do that, which seems so thematically at odds with what Silent Hill 2 is all about. Oh, look, some garbage. Just like me. Oh, mum. I'm starting to get a, starting to get a, a feeling that this, mo this is your mom. Not great. I just, that's a weird scenario just unfolded in my head. Like, you know how Carrie's about, like, girl who gets, like, superpowers because she was abused by her mum? Well, what if the military got a hold of that? What if they found out that they could create super soldiers by giving them maternal trauma? <laughs> they take all these kids that like might have it genetic and they put them with just the worst parents. Yeah. yeah. They're just all raised by this like like drill sergeant, you know, like a pinny. I don't know, someone's gonna post now, there's an anime along those lines. <laughs> Aha, here we go. The Silent Hill phenomenon. <gasps> dun dun dun. Those affected suddenly claim to see fog and lose consciousness. Oh, no, that's also just Persona 4. They do that in Persona 4. Yeah, why didn't they call it the Persona Phenomenon? Yeah. 
Uh, fill my ass up. Thank you so much for 15 or a week in Corona. Would you rather spend one week in Silent Hill or Raccoon City? Uh, probably Silent Hill. Because, you know, it's uh, pretty good therapy, actually. Sure. Yeah. The thing about Silent Hill is even before shit hit the fan, it never seemed like that fun of a town. Whereas, like, Raccoon City, like, when you're running through it in Resi 3, I'm like, okay, I could, like, well, could you say fun that. on this downtown strip. Well, you say that. Remember the bit in Silent Hill 2 where you see your tape you made with your wife? Mary looked like she was having a whale of a time. Yeah, you were having a nice little, like, honeymoon and being like, oh, look, we're at the cabin and it's romantic and I haven't smothered you yet. There's a bowling alley. That's good. Yeah, People yeah, like bowling. Yeah. There's a bar. There's a fun fair. There is a fun fair. Yeah, Silent Hill, I guess, yeah, in Silent Hill 3, there's a whole amusement park. It's. I mean, it's a lake resort. It's designed for tourists. I actually, li- I like that mall in, at the beginning of Silent Hill 3, before it becomes spooky. I like kind of the idea of that Twilight Mall. Uh, uh, like uh, a nice, uh, 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 that wasn't in Silent Hill. Oh, right. That was like Seattle, right? Yeah, that was just in the city where oh. uh, Heather was winning, living at the time, and she just brought Silent Hill oh. with her. Hey, she was but the wherever darkness. there's a fog, there's a Silent Hill. I learned that from the hit game Silent Hill colon the short memories. There no, which go. one? The, I've, short... I've, the short message. Short message. <laughs> yes, possibly referencing that letter that didn't end up in the hands of its intended recipient, Correct. resulting in the suicide of uh, the author. Yes, death of the author, as they call it. <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh, Grey Ghost with a five dollar dono. Thank you so much. Modern horror game, a walking sim with a narrative that would be better served by literally any other medium. Loving all the second wind content. Keep it up. Thank you so much, Grey Ghost. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Okay. Know, sometimes it's fun to have a controller in your hand. Hey, I just noticed our character is a lot shorter. Like they're, they're a child. Yeah, as I believe you, you loop through this and you get shorter every time, which is oh, a nice little touch. Clever. Mm-hmm. Uh, SVS Guru with a five euro dono. Thank you so much. Something tells me that mentally deranged people with superpowers would not respect the chain of command. What could possibly go wrong? Well, uh, suddenly the, the Suicide Squad premise leapt to mind again. Oh, no. The hit video game. Coming soon to a fully ramble manic near you. Okay, I looked. At, I looked at the thing game. Oh, I have to look at the other thing. Yeah, you got you can't, you can't. You can't expect to get through this without looking at all the things. Okay, Mum was frustrated because she couldn't get her bone on. <laughs> this is this is what I'm uh, interpreting. Who's amongst us. Uh, and Tsunami Doucher, thank you so much for the $5 dono. don't know. Uh, can we talk about why in Silent Hill 2 Remake, uh, you are in a grapple with a lying figure, which has no arms. And a lying figure also mounts a, a, a over a, a low wall. It's very strange. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple things wrong with that. Okay, so mum was unhappy, and we were kids. Sure. Baggage if you will. And Edward with a two pound dono. If there's an idea, there's an anime for that idea. See? Everything's happened. There's an isekai for that. So our uh, kids got taken. Like like what happens. Mm-hmm. Oh, there was a hole here. There was a hole here. Oh, no. We That's had a brother good. who's dead now. Yeah. He's dead. Rest in peace. This reminded yeah. me a lot of uh, the, the, the the person with the red behind him reminded me of like in control when you talk to the whatever the thing is the, the bureau or the there's those kind of like weird flashes whenever you talk to the board when you're talking to the board. Ooh. 
Ooh, generational trauma, no less. Oh, hurt people, hurt people. It's like werewolves. Uh, are werewolves generational trauma? Well, yeah. I, mean, I guess if you bite, bite another just, werewolf, I bite, bite someone. There was a joke on Monkey Dust where, like, there was a recurring sketch called the Pedo Finder General. Oh, no. Where they'd have this, like, uh... Dude dressed like a witch finder general who would just like murder people suspected of being pedophiles. And there was one sketch where he was murdering this one dude and his child as well. And they said, Why oh. the child? And he says, People who are abused often abuse themselves. It's like werewolves. <laughs> people who get bit by werewolves bite other people they haven't turned into. Yeah, I get it. I like it. Uh, Citrus with another dono. Thank you so much. Governments are always super cruel to their super soldier programs in that genre, though, even without it being necessary to develop the superpowers. Yeah, I don't understand why they're just not nice to them. Be like, hey, this person's going to have powers. I'm going to be on their good side. No, no, no. The trauma creates powers. That's the catch-22. Oh. Beautiful. So then their kryptonite is like therapy? Yeah. So then they got no superpowers. Oh, here we go again. Oh, bugger, uh -oh. it's this again. Uh -oh. No. Uh-oh. Um, enjoy this. Is this the extra long one? Yes, and you have to do things during it. Oh, I hate having to do things. I believe each of those chains that were on the door needs to be unlocked by finding a thing, uh, like an a interactable point, like a piece of art. Oh, um, that sounds... You need to interact with it to get a memory. And let me tell you, if you think you will ever get a lay of this land, you won't. So, good luck just running around and hopefully finishing this at some point. Well, this, um, well we've got 50 minutes. Yeah, we'll be fine. This is You're making great time. You're making great time. Uh, I, th I think we'll finish early. <sighs> uh, Fungus Finder with a $2 dono. Thank you so much. Let he who has not mercy killed throw the first this fire stone. Exactly. Nietzsche. Where's the interactables? I'm ready to interact with stuff, mum. I'm ready to hit that axe. Oh, it came to the wrong bloody thing again. Oh. Okay, turn left after the door. Yeah, I don't, like, I at no point did I ever feel like I knew where I was going in this thing. I just kept running in circles, and I found four of them. I, was like, I have no idea where the fifth one is, and I don't know where I am, and I don't know where I've already been. Yes, yes, animation, wake up, heavy breathing. On your yeah. feet, soldier. It should have, uh, this this should have been like a Super Meat Boy kind of thing where you just immediately spawn. <laughs> yeah, and at the uh, end there's like group. 15 of you. Just, <laughs> yeah, just exactly. running. You're constantly getting killed by Sakura Basura. Uh, SVS Guru with a two euro dono. Thank you so much. Mom should have taken the anti baby pill. <laughs> oh, okay. This is new, I think. And, uh,. Oh, is that one of the interactables? Yeah, I found one. I found a whole. I found a whole one. There's four more. I do not know, chat. For anyone who's played this, if you die, do you have to find them all again, or does it remember which ones you found? Because I'm not to toot my own horn. I, I didn't die, but I just kept running in circles. So this took me a very long time because I was just very lost. Okay, I found uh, two of them. Oh my god, that's two fifths the way there. Forty percent. Uh, Cudlack. Thank you so much. Been three, the are we, for two aha, three for three. Wow, you're coming. Oh, you have to find them all in one run, so don't get hit. Don't get hit. Uh, Cudlack in Green Gang for two months. Did you ever play Psychonauts Rhombus of Ruin? I did. That's one of the only uh, PSVR games I played. I loved it. Um, I'm not crazy about VR, but I love Psychonauts, and I thought that was a very cool little VR experience. I did not play that. It was neat. Which is a shame, because it's like canon plot, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's pretty much like it, it ties one and two together. There's a bunch of stuff that happens in two that is kind of explained, but not really unless you played one. Uh, uh, Jediah Games, also on YouTube, gifted five second wind memberships to Ignorance is Mid, to Venturefic, Toad Wizard, Colin, and Tommy Guidotti. Thank you so much. Oh. Appreciate you gifting those up, Jediah. Four, four. We're up to, oh. we're up to four. Oh. Would you say that you have a mental map of this place as you're running around? Because God knows I didn't. I'm assuming it's just uh, re redrawing itself as you go through it. Oh, that it's not like a maze. It's like literally kind of laying tracks in front of you. Yeah, that's sort of my assumption at this point. 
You. You'll. I will go through you. Uh, and Robo Knob, thank you so much for the five nine nine euro dono. I literally fell asleep on this section, and yes, if you die, you have to redo the whole collecting party. We'll, we'll, oh, be, fine. we'll be fine. Let's we'll let's try. Let's not great. die then. We're doing great. God, I love the sound of breathy whimpers, don't you? Just can't get enough <laughs> of them. Zit. <laughs> Come on. First try, first try. <laughs> oh, come on. Aha! Five! Yeah. Five out of five! Yeah. Now you gotta get the door, now you gotta get the door! Now find the door, it's like the fucking crystal maze all of a sudden. <laughs> shit, shit. Uh, permafrost. Yeah, the, 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 the whole video uh, uh, artifacting effect is to uh, let you know that you are close to Basura. Sakura Basura. Uh huh. Now, where's the bloody door? This is it. This is the one. Yes! Yes! Beautiful. Right. Well done. In your face, Marty Sleever. Well, what do you mean in my face? I also got through. What? Yeah, <laughs> I was I, cheering you on. <laughs> I got it through on my first go. I got it done so way quicker I. than. I got it done way quicker than you said I would. I, th I had full faith in you. I'm very proud of you. Okay, have I won the trauma now? You did. You can Am I the I best at the trauma? trauma I'm the he I'm the head of the trauma high the score table. <laughs> oh, I'm the graffiti artist. Uh, yeah. Mm. Wait. She killed herself more than half a year ago. Is that the new twist? And that means what? Hmm. Ha, the schizen book, of course. The classic schizen book. Uh, yeah, chat. We're gonna have we're gonna have a, a, a we're gonna have some beefy guess the game, unless we call it early today because you're very close to the end. <laughs> you're great. Uh, Citrus, thank you so much for a dono. Sometimes there's no indication that trauma equals superpowers, though. Also, at least outsource to Trauma Core and pretend to be their safe refuge if the trauma is essential. Thank you, Trauma Core. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. Wait, your friend Amelia had the same glasses. How do you know that's not her? It is very confusing that her and Amelia look very similar. I just yeah. feel like they should have just made them look somewhat different. Yeah. I kept expecting there to be something like, oh, are we the same person? Is this, like, what's going on here? Oh, that would be turbo dumb. That's very dumb. If like, we and Amelie were, like, different, like, it was like a Tyler Dern thing. Yeah, yeah, two halves of the same... That same... would... That would be Turbo Dumb wearing the dumbest hat. A, a dumb hat on a dumb hat? Yes. I was so happy when my mom liked the first picture I drew. Oh, blimey, it's the nightmare scene from Max Payne. Uh oh. Baby's crying. Not Maya, though. Hated my guts. You actually noticed me. I never thought you would. And then I killed myself because of you. Nice job. Rip. Emily. What should I 
do. Well, killing yourself again wouldn't hurt. Does she finally get to jump off the roof for realsies? Or maybe there's forgiveness, ultimately. Who knows? There's no way of knowing. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm such a piece of shit. I had no idea she'd do that. What are you talking about? Did something happen? I thought I was invisible. I didn't matter. No matter what anyone had said, I didn't listen, Anita. But you and Maya, both of you did see me. <sighs> I should have figured that out sooner, <coughs> Anita. Wait, where are you right now? Thank you, Amelie. You were always there for me. I'm I used to have tortoise shell glasses. They're very Oh, nerdy. really? Yeah. I feel like they've come back. Wait, shopping? I love shopping. Consumerism. That's the only way to prevent uh, these these sort of tragedies. Invite someone else to a she nice dinner at the Cheesecake Factory. She invited me shopping. Now I don't have to die. It's beautiful. But she put the phone down because she was ignoring it. And then suddenly she stops for throwing herself off the roof because she heard a phone alert. Why, why, did she suddenly, why did she suddenly decide to stop ignoring the phone? Because she knew it was a positive alert. You can always tell if you feel, if you feel your phone vibrate, you're like, ooh, that's a good vibration, or ooh, that's a bad vibration. Uh, Hiroshi McBride, uh, subscribe to Tier 1 on Twitch. I'm a hatchling. Well done, Hiroshi. Thank you so much. An SVS guru with a two euro dono. There is only forgiveness in death. That's not what this game taught me. This game taught me this. <sighs> Those who betray themselves to fit into a group. Pathetic. Well, that was dumb on toast. What? So, um, what did you think? I don't really mind. Well, it's certainly not giving me much faith for the new the Neo Silent Hill games. That is part of the, uh, when, when I said, I'm not sure why this thing exists, I just didn't get why. I'm like, who, who are we supposed to get people excited for like, the new era of Silent Hill? Because so far, the new era of Silent Hill has been uh, that really that really bad chooser and adventure thing and this, and a Blueberry yeah. remake, which doesn't seem great. Um, I mean, remember how effective PT was, even though it yeah. was just a first person walkie down the corridor and up. And then you get chased yeah. by a monster. And it had a lot of, uh, it had like these, those weird puzzles that the internet was kind of like solving together. Um, like weird yeah. mysteries to unpack, which. That was genuinely like groundbreaking, PT. Yeah. For that's why everyone's you know, like. 10 been, years ago. That's why everyone's been ripping it off for the last 10 years. Yeah. Uh, John Blade with 25 bits over in Twitch. Thank you so much. You know what's a great Silent Hill game? Spec Ops The Line. Meanwhile, I take two. D-list that shit. We need to sell more GTA 5s. I mean, that yeah, Dubai is pretty much his... his, his uh, I mean, that whole, whole... Every town has an Elm Street. Every town has a Silent Hill thing. Smacks of what happened to the Assassin's Creed series, where it's like every team of goodies could be assassins and every team of baddies could be Templars. All throughout history, 
and now we have officially no identity whatsoever. Yeah, and it seems like they're way like a easy get out of jail free card to be like, all right, we have all these other games in development. We need to figure out how to stitch them all together. So it's just what, yeah, wherever there's wherever there's trauma and, uh, and yeah. a cold front moving in, um, you can have you can have a Silent Hill. <sighs> uh, Anixia with a five dollar dono. Thank you so much. They made this literally to get people excited for the Bloober remakes because they surely can't be worse than this, right? Right? This, Yeah, this feels like trying to evoke the PT response and it's just yeah. not anywhere near that. Because it's, yeah. too, it's too overwritten. PT was very functionally, very effectively subtle. Absolutely. There's too, yeah. much, there's too much dialogue, too much characterization so that... And uh, the characters just don't come across as real because of that. Well, and the two scary things in this game is a very cheap jump scare with the with the bag heads, which is just yeah. like, well, it's a cheap jump scare. I don't, I, like, it's neither good nor bad, it just is. And then the Sakura Basuro, who yeah. I think is has a neat visual design, but is ultimately one of those things, like I said, that just quickly becomes you are a mechanic. That is all. I'm, yeah. All I'm thinking of you is a, a, you might be a, like a Goomba in Mario. I'm just thinking about how to yeah. get past being it. being chased by the unkillable monster. That's like fucking Pac-Man. That's yeah, exactly. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, that's every cheapo horror game. Yeah, I remember how yeah, no. I remember how astonishingly groundbreaking it felt to play Resident Evil Seven and to be and to start off in like the PT style first person horror game, and then they give you a fucking gun, and it's yeah. a really good game. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, this feels like a thing that's several years, you know, like a lot of games that I'm sure, you know, with something like Suicide Squad, um, when you talk about it, it just feels like a thing. I don't know when this started in development, but this feels like a thing that maybe would have been more impactful five, seven years ago, but well, yeah, so many people have done this over the past yeah. decade, and, and, um, and I don't know, Silent better. Hill, and Silent Hill just as a series just feels like it is it's constantly haunted by itself. Well, and it's, it, most of it's been haunted by the shadow of Silent Hill 2, but now it also yeah. feels like haunted by the shadow of PT. Um, but if anyone's making a Silent Hill game, we should just go up to them at like early development stage and say, uh, is the person we're looking for already dead and did we kill them? And if they say yes, we just give them a slap. <laughs> we don't need to do this. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's strange. I don't know. That's Yeah, and I don't... like. This thing's, yeah, it's free, and yeah, it's out of your life quickly, but like, I don't know, do, do I feel like I gained anything by playing this? Not really. Like, I, I played, I replayed Silent Hill 1 through 4 in October, and I, I felt like I gained so much out of that, whereas playing this was like, okay. Are there any I teenage girls just... watching? Because we're like jaded, grumpy, middle-aged men. Sure, so yeah. So if there are any middle-aged, if there are any teenage girls uh, watching, let us know if you feel affected and like you identify with the characters in this game. See, that is like I, I <coughs> feel like that is like one of the audiences <coughs> it is going for is kind of that like I don't know maybe you were into Five Nights at Freddy's five years ago or something and you graduated to like a, <coughs> a slightly more mature kind of horror and maybe stories like this will I don't know this also feels like one of those stories where it's about teenage girls but like some of the Life is Strange games it is clearly an adult man trying to write a teenage girl um, mm. which I don't know can sometimes just come across as inauthentic quite um, Citrus thank you so much for the donation Capitalism Saves presented you by Silent Chill no sending this in a super chat is not ironic hey I hey. think Capitalism was a good guy at the end of this hey us and Amelia pals Oh, look at that. That's nice. Uh, and Onyxia, thank you so much for a $5 dono. The only thing that could have made this more on the nose is if Linkin Park was playing during these credits instead. Yeah, you know what, I mean, Silent Hill? You know what, Konami? I've suddenly decided I am more at risk of self-harm than I was before I went through this fucking game. game. Uh, to be fair, Silent Hill has had butt rock in the past. Silent Hill has a long history. Of oh, oh yeah, like the end, yeah. Uh, the end music for Silent Hill Four and Silent yeah. Hill Three by that mm -hmm. uh, that one butt rock guy with the with the voice uh, really trying painfully to sound like David Bowie. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's it's, I think that's a good way to end a Silent Hill game. 
Yeah. Because uh, butt, butt rock, butt rock is butt rock, but there's always this sense of um, catharsis to a butt rock track, you know? Cathartic <laughs> butt rock. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to play now? <laughs> what do you, what do we, I have an hour left. What do you oh yeah, do? yeah. Well, yes, it's uh, time for some guess the game. We we'll get some guess the game. Go away, please. Man, I haven't had a chance to use my capture card in ages. Oh, yeah, that's right. You missed the stream last week. You were under the weather. Yeah, and I haven't used the capture card in ages because I used to use it a lot when I was post-CP streaming, but now since I could play oh. anything on Yahtzee Tries, I tend not to play console games because it's... Yeah, that's right. Because you don't have to use the capture card. All right. Guess the game. Guess the game. We're going to guess the game. I'm excited. We're going to feel it. I already did today's, but uh, okay. we'll put it up there. Da, 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 da. They still got the fucking snow effect that they put on like on Christmas last year. Oh, you got to update that. What are you? What are you doing against the game? All right, now I know what it is. But what do you think it is? Ooh, I am watching on stream, so give me a second to have it come up. Uh, <clears throat> ooh, pixelarty. Yep, pixelarty. Stark black <sighs> outlines. Hmm. Cartoony vibe. Yeah, looks looks relatively modern. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say uh, uh, minish cap, <coughs> like a minish cap cutscene, <coughs> but I guess minish cap for me. I don't think it's minish cap, but we'll just see. We'll, we'll get us to the next one. It is not the Minish Cap. The fuck is this? See, at this point, I thought it was Zombies Ate My Neighbors, but uh... yeah, or but not. Uh, Plants for Zombies? Is it Zombies? Plants for Zombies? No, it isn't. I got it on this one. Oh, this on is this, uh, this is uh, 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 Scott Pilgrim, the beat 'em up. Scott Pilgrim. I don't know what the game's called. Game. Uh, yes, it fights. was. And then, oh, okay, I remember. PS3 360 helps in that. Yeah. Well done, Scott Pilgrim. All right. Now let's do another one. More, more, more. Oh, a pretty rainbow. And very high waterfalls and hmm. mountains. It's not like... Like a Xenoblade? I, you know what? Xenoblade crossed my mind. Yeah, I haven't played uh, enough Xenoblade to like really know what's going Aha! on. Aha! It was a Xenoblade game. Just not uh, the one I thought it was. I don't know. They're all the same to me. <laughs> if I'm being honest. And I don't know if like Xeno... Uh, there's, there's Xenoblade Chronicles X. I don't know if that's all part of it as well. It's on the Switch, if that helps. Uh, the two on the Switch are Xenoblade... Well, I think all three of them. Are. Is it three? Yes, it was in a Blade okay. Chronicles three. Great. I have not played. <clears throat> I will say I should. That's on me. Huh, okay. We've got a vaguely cell shaded y looking woman's leg. A huge bloodstain. Love a cell shaded leg. This is giving me very strong No More Heroes vibe. Yeah, yeah. But uh, which one? Let's just let's go with the first one. Yes, that's exactly what it was. Oh, beautiful. Uh, Anixia with a $2 dono. Thank you so much. Half an hour of Guess the Game. You spoil us yachts. Uh, well, so I think, the, I, presence I, think I might game. switch to Game Duel after a while. You ever play Game Duel? No, I don't think I know that one. It's uh, it's another Ooh. daily game guessing uh, browser-based thing. I like, I like guessing things. Uh, Mythical Presence, welcome to the Green Gang. Thank you so much. Jombly, thank you so much for the dono. Hear me out. Instead of guess the game, let's call the suicide prevention line and tell them Silent Hill, the short message, made us think of harming ourselves a game within a game. It's cruel, Jombly. We're not going to do that. All right, what we got uh, here? It's green. It is green. Yes. Is that, it's... Is that like Peace like Peace Walker? Peace Walker kind of looked green. Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Do you think so? I mean, it looks a bit high res for Peace Walker. 
don't know. It looks like it has a piss yellow to it, which Peace Walker does. Okay, it wasn't that. It's something that scored 82%. Is this uh? What does that say? Robos? Like, is that a... Is that like a satire thing? Could it be... It's not GTA. No, GTA wouldn't be 84%. Uh, like, is that a I satire mean, thing? Robos? I'd have guessed GTA 4 based off these two. But not That's, 82%. No, like, no, I can not like a, a million. Surely not 82%. That's like, that was like no. the, biggest, the biggest game release ever. Yeah. I'm going to guess it anyway and see what happens. Yeah, see where it gets us. Maybe it's like one of the... Nope. Not even the right franchise. Original platform PC, PS2, Xbox, GameCube, Nintendo DS, GBA, and 360. Now, I can't imagine all of those games would have been the same. Same. No, I don't think the GBA and uh, 361. Uh, it being on 360 means it was probably like a late-gen game that got a, uh, a port to 360. So a late-gen mm. PS2, Xbox, GameCube game that got a port. Do you think this is a racing game or an open-world game? Um, like what? Hard to say at like this ra- point. Yeah, because we've seen things that I like. Like this could have been a, a like a burnout or a need for speed or. I was I was thinking it might be true crime or one of the true crime games. Well, I just noticed the chat guessed uh, that as well. Yeah, I don't. Did those ever have Game Boy like anything? Might have done. Let's try True Crime New York City. Sure. Nope. I don't have a better answer. Okay, it's it is a racing game. Oh. And that's not our forte, like need is for it? Speed, need for Speed Underground? I don't know. It looks like you're in like a... a, a underground? <laughs> well, it it's the like right... Like it's, it is the right franchise. It came out in 2005. Which Need for Speed game is that? I don't... Is that the, the dude ch- from Scream? The chat says Most Wanted. Sure. Whatever. Okay, I've never played. Sure. I've never played any Need for Speed game. I give it a big go. shirt. Another buy. Well done, uh, Gerard, uh, with a ten dollars dono. Thank you so much. Hey, yachts. I've been ninety nine percent sure what Mortimer is since season one, and I just want to say I've gleefully loved all the little nods your fellow players don't pick up on that you've peppered in. Great job. Look at that foreshadowing. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure. Ah. Okay. What's this one? Is it inside of a helicopter? Could be. Side of a helicopter near a building? Helicopters aren't supposed to navigate that close to buildings. No, Hammer. that'd be very dangerous. Yes. It'd be very dangerous. Crisis 2? Sure, give him a, give him a couple crisis. Crisis I. I don't think it looks good enough to be crisis, but I'll, I'll pop it in. Nope. Metacritic scores 68%. Ooh, oh no! A, Hard to remember those. Yeah, that's not a happy one. Yeah, is this a, is that supposed to be New York? Is this like is this prototype? No, prototype's browner, right? No, prototype's yeah, prototype's got this more sort of uh, reddish thing yeah. going on. And it's probably harder. Uh, it's probably higher than sixty-eight. Yeah, not like I mean, is this like Spider-Man three or something? Like not one of the higher reviewed ones. Spider-Man three on the uh, the Wii. I don't know. <sighs> I'm, I'm just going to skip one. Aha. Okay. Monster. On the Xbox 360. Just the Xbox 360? Yeah. I don't recognize the monster. Neither do I. Like, I assume this is a. Is either like an action game or a horror game? Is this one of those Ninja Gaidens from that era? Ninja Gaiden. Could have been. A lot of those Black. were just on Xbox. Like, Black. Ninja, yeah, I could. I can't keep track of all the Ninja Gaidens. Yeah, I'll try. It. Maybe it's at least in the franchise. Let's try Ninja Gaiden Two. Yeah, because nope. I think although it was oh. an action game, it's an action game that is good. I mean, I don't know. What is? What it just says good like this looks like a Devil May Cry knockoff. Yeah, I'm seeing like the big sword. Yeah. I don't think it's one I'm familiar with. Okay, I've lots of people in the chat saying it's Ninja Blade. 
the fuck is Ninja Blade? I feel like Chad's just cheating. What is Ninja Blade? I don't know. Chad, you I, I had no idea, but everyone in the chat was saying it. I think I vaguely remember Ninja Blade. It was like this really... From Soft ha- game? Is that one what? of those like From Soft games that no one remembers? Yeah, I think it was like the forgotten FromSoft game that really sucks. Like Otogi Myth of Demons. I don't even know that Chad, one. I think you're all cheaters. I know that one at Chad's all. all cheaters. And Gerard is back with a $2 dono. Messed up my name again, forcing me to correct you. I messed up your name? I'm sorry if I messed up your name, Gerard. It's J-E-R-A-D. It just seems like Gerard to me. If it's wrong, I apologize. Tell me how to do better. Okay, here's an interesting one. Got a weird sort of tribal fetish thing going on. Mm. Oh, that's uh, Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. That's a Zonai rune. I don't know which one because they're okay. in the same setting. Breath of the Wild. No. And, and it's, it's not Tears not... of the Kingdom? No, it's no Zelda game. It's also something with a Metacritic score of 59%. Who's this so... little guy? Is this Rain World? Maybe. I feel like people like Rain World. I 100% thought that was Zelda. Yeah, it's what Rain happened? World. I didn't realize oh, okay. Rain World was so poorly reviewed. I think it was. Yeah, I think that is one of those games that was incredibly opaque. Uh, I've never played it. I've watched a lot of video essays on it, though. Right. Okay. Let's have another one. Ah, a floating island. That narrows it down. Zelda. No, that's not Zelda. What is that? That almost looks like a cat. Like a, when you roll something up in Katamari and it shows up in the corner. No, it's not Katamari. It's not pastel enough. That's true. Actually, I'm not sure. I don't know because usually the things you roll up are in the bottom corner, and there's like UI and shit yeah. right next to it. So. Oh, right. oh, 93% Metacritic score. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, those, that's, uh, oh, oh, that's Okami. Yeah, those stars right? looked very familiar. Yeah, yeah, you gotta you gotta use your celestial brush to touch them all. Yes. Yes, the stars. I remember those. Man, Okami's great. Let's see what those other pictures are. Yeah, it's yeah, hard to It's hard yeah. to go back to because it's so horribly paced, that game. Yeah, and kind of bloated and making you fight that fucking snake man 10,000 times. Oh, boy, a very basic building texture. Great. Love it. Tony Hawk? I'm guessing Tony Hawk's pro skater blank. Metacritic like score, no score, and doesn't really make sense. Well, what? this is is this not just tabletop simulator? Oh. I don't think it's Tony Hawk anymore. Uh, <laughs> no. It's a PC game and it's about model trains, apparently. What? Is it like Monopoly? Like a weird version of Monopoly? I don't think so. What if it's Rain World again? Oh, I think this. I think I've seen this one before. I think it might be Roblox. Uh, oh, which I guess that yeah. makes sense. There you go. Because, yeah. Etc. Huh. Flowers. Pixely flowers. Love Very old flower. school pixely flowers. Now that doesn't look like an NES color palette to me. Kinda. Huh? That looks more. You like... think it's like ColecoVision or something, or something earlier? I think it could be something like a BBC Micro color palette. Oh, jeez. If that's the case, I'm. I'm... Not to be any help right now. Loki's um, Wager with a $10 dono. Thank you so much, Loki's Wager. Hey, Yachts, why did Warden choose to keep Henderson sedated when she probably could have killed him? Was it a moral or character reason, or did she think she wouldn't get away with it? Also, hi, Marty. Hello, Loki's Wager. Well, I guess uh, having a rival organization in a state of limbo rather than in a state of power vacuum was more uh, in keeping with her goals. Gotcha. And okay. Jared with a two dollar dono. It's not Gerard. It's Jared messing it up. Obligates my response with money. Apologies, Jared. I will okay. Not mess it up. Well, we've got a whole lot of dirt, and it's a very a old dirt. game. Dig Dug. Dig Dug. Dig, dig Dug's got that, dirt. That certainly is a game with lots of dirt in it. Lots of dirt in Dig Dug. Yep, that's exactly what it was. Hell yeah! You put a gun to my head and say, "Name a game with dirt." I'm saying Dig Dug. Yeah. Okay, let's do one more, then switch to Game Dull. Okay. 
All right. Fuck's this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm about to get there now. Empty landscape. Oh. Is that like a fall? <laughs> <coughs> I don't know, the sky seems a bit clear for a Fallout game. There's power lines. Yep, those look like power lines. Nick guesses Red Dead 1. I don't think Red Dead had power lines, didn't they? I doubt it. Some Super people are guessing one. Arma, some PUBG, some Far oh, Cries. Now it's gone all red on us, and it's a Metacritic score of 95%. Oh my glob! A very high scoring game by any accounts. Jesus, 95 with the power lines? Is it Red Dead? Uh, Is it a metal? Was it Metal Gear Solid 5? No, I, mean, I mean, Red Dead Redemption was set at like the closing era of the Old West where trains were being introduced. Maybe there were power lines too. Sure. Yeah, it's Red Dead Redemption. There you go. Sorry for thinking you're an idiot, Nick. I apologize. Well, how very nice. In my head, there was no power lines in that game. Well, they had the telegraph in those days, didn't they? I don't know. I don't know what was going on back then. I just consider that Game of Thrones time. Okay, are you ready to play some game dull? Yes. What is it? Is it just Wordle with games? It's uh, it's basically guess the game, but with box art rather than oh, that's great screenshots. So, what have we got here? Enslaved. You know that was my that's first a, that thought. A, yeah, I don't know. Enslaved Odyssey to the West. Hey, we're both right. Yeah. Ah, now that's infamous Second Son, isn't it? Ooh, infamous is back. Look at that infamous game brought up twice in the same stream. Yeah, I like good. I'm good at this one. Well, I'm good at both of them, but I'm pretty good at this one too. Extra good at this one. Mm, okay. Mm. Oh, this I'm is guess- uh, this is a battlefield, I think. Yeah, I'm getting soldier holding gun, walking towards camera vibes. Yeah, I think this is like a Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4? Nope. Maybe. Oh, it's, uh, it's Call of Duty. Chatter saying World at War. Apologies. Yeah, it's, it's definitely Call of Duty. Look at that. I got my Oorah Jingoistic shooter wrong. Spunk Goggle Wee Wee is the, the accepted oh, term. <laughs> the preferred nomenclature. Call of Duty World of War. There you go. I don't remember that one at all. Ah, now, uh, surely everyone should know this. Come on, people. Oh, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Metroid. Yeah, Metroid for the NES. (laughs) Chat, I just want you to know, I'm watching the stream right now, so that's why there's a delay. That wasn't me, like, desperately trying to figure out what it was. Did I not share my thing with you? No. Oh, could I have just clicked that the whole time? Oh, no, I, d- I hadn't clicked it. Sorry, that was my fault. Oh, gotcha. No, oh, well. Fine. It was great. Okay, now I'm, now I'm on time. Okay, something golden. Is that a uh, God of War game? That looks like, kind of looks like Kratos. That blur looks like Kratos. Yeah, and it's like, look, red and white. Yeah. I think, Angry I ass think, Kratos. I think this is Chains of Olympus? The PSP one? Yep, that's the one. Mm. Look at us. Look at us cruising. Ah, Pac-Man. But which one? Oh my god, there's too many Paco Pacos. Is that like a... It's like 3D. That seems like a Pac-World, maybe? Pac-Mania? Pac-Man World. Yeah, I think that's what it was called. Yep, that's the one. Great, we did it. Who remembers Pac-Man World? When Pac-Man had the sort of N64 era Explorathon platform game. platform, yeah, yeah. yeah. L.A. Noir, easy peasy. LA Noir. It feels like they shouldn't even give us the clear thing. It seems like it should start without a clear thing. I wonder if there's a hard mode. Saints Row 4. Saints Row. Saints Row 3, rather. Um, Saints Stephen Brown Row. says, I play-tested Pac-Man World. Oh, my God. 
Come on, give me the hard one. This okay. is Dragon Ball. This is like a Budokai, right? Well, I've never seen this one. No, I'm starting to think that's not a Budokai, now that you've zoomed in. I thought it was Piccolo on Namek. If you just look at the blur, it looks like Piccolo on Namek. Was there a game based on the Cold Miser? People are saying Scooby-Doo Cyber Chase. Well, Who's I'm seeing... chased by? I'm seeing... Uh, oh, I see Shaggy and Scooby yeah. now that you mention it. Yeah. yeah there's, that's a very distinctive Cyber shade of green. Chase. Do they get like stuck in a computer like Tron? How are they going to get out? Tropico. Uh, yeah, that's Tropico. But which Tropico? Yeah. Listen, I got us to Tropico. I can't get us anywhere else. I don't know the difference between it. Uh, Tropico 3. Hey! Stab Look in the dark. Thank you, Fidel Castro. Couldn't have done it without you. Man, how are we so good at box art in the age of no games having box art anymore? I don't know. Maybe I mean, maybe that shows how, like, this is Unreal Tournament? Yes, yeah, it's Unreal Tournament. I think it shows how, uh, like, how formative box art was back in the day. Yeah. No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. Man, I'm disappointed. This has been harder in the past. Yeah, I feel like it shouldn't. It shouldn't. It should start with everything blurry. Digimon oh. World. Well, I didn't know that one. Digimon World. That's a Metal Greymon right there. Uh, people are asking what's the name of the site. GameDull dot WTF. GameDull. Yeah, game w- game D L E. It's like a pun on Wordle. Mm. Game of Thrones. The Telltale game. Ah, a hard one. Mm. Hmm. I'm seeing a boot. I'm seeing some a magenta. Boot? Yeah, it looks, it looks like... Uh, are people on like a train of some sorts? Hmm. Okay, this is kind of tough. It looks kind of anime-y. Yeah, for want of an idea, I'm just going to guess Oni. Oh, apparently we've never heard of Oni. Too <laughs> obscure for Game Duel, I'm afraid. I'll skip. Let's just see what the next... Oh, it's a oh, Lego game. This... Or, no, is this just Roblox? Ew. I don't know. Because like, they don't look quite like Lego. Oh, I yeah. like Dobie Dan just saying Family Guy. I didn't that's, realize Roblox has a cover. That's what Roblox looks like. Yeah, I'd never seen the Roblox cover. I didn't know you could like buy it retail. That's a Zelda game. That's uh, major- uh, no Wind Waker, right? Yeah, I'd I think say the Wind, Wind Waker, Waker box art was like weirdly bland, like that. Yeah, the Wii U remake had a much more interesting. Yeah, uh, but the original was basically just textured gold with a logo. Because we're too prestigious for a real box art up in Zelda Town. That's Mortal Kombat X. <laughs> you can't just have the Moor and then the yeah. fucking dragon out there. What are we doing? Yeah, I mean, if they hadn't uh, included yeah. the fucking dragon, what? what uh, two folks difficult? coming in late. Some people are like, "Is it so bad that you quit?" No, the Silent Hill: The Short Message is. Uh, as its title suggests, a short message, and we finished the game in about um, 90 minutes. Hour and a half, yeah. Yeah. And I wasn't even paying that much attention. No. But you missed the, the subtext. That's uh, uh, the, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh my god, remember when Sonic was murdered? We're almost at the one year anniversary of Sonic's death. He was never really murdered, that's why I hated oh. it so much. <laughs> he should have uh, stuck to the guns. Ah, that's Ruiner. Did you play Ruiner? Nope. It was like a sort of uh, Hotline Miami adjacent sort of shoot 'em up. Oh, no. I, don't even, I literally don't even know what that game is. Okay. Uh, here's something that's giving me anime vibes that I don't recognize. Yeah, there's like an anime hand. It's like a Space Channel game. Yeah, maybe. It almost looks like Pokemon y. Like a Pokemon, Pokemon are you red? But it's pink. Pokemon oh, Pink. That's Space Space Channel doesn't exist, apparently. It's not a real game. Yeah. No. Someone has a wristwatch. What kind of a game would someone have a wristwatch? Hmm. I'm gonna skip one. 
Okay. Wrist watch and purple hair. It just looks like an anime girl. Yeah. There's so many anime girls. I know. Like a, a Hatsune Miku? No. No, she has blue hair. She doesn't yeah. have purple hair. Oh, yeah. And she's wearing a maid skirt. It's an anime girl. This isn't, this isn't Doki Doki, is it? I don't know what Doki Doki's no. covers. I know what Doki Doki Literature Club looks like, and this ain't it. I don't think we're ever going to get this. Oh, okay. Sue! I don't know what that is. Well, it's maybe the first time we get to one of those. I'm like, I don't even know what that is. What? 2007 game. for what? Game over. Ooh. At the very least, it should be like, this is what the game... Oh, this is my friend Pedro, I believe. Yep. Yeah, yep. With, the, with the very funny banana. Oh. Hmm. Is that a statue? Oh, that's Siberia. Siberia 3, maybe? Siberia 2? No. Correct Siberia saga, one? though. So Siberia, Siberia one. 1. Yep, there you go. Yay. Starring the lady with the weirdly small forehead. <laughs> She's got a cool robot pal, though. Ah, now this is ringing bells. Is Fortnite? Yes, I think it might be Fortnite. Remember when Fortnite was like a zombie survival thing? Yeah, Rather than... and the Battle Royale mode was just like a little offshoot. Ratchet and Clang, a crack in time. Cracking time. Tekken? Hmm, okay. That's a, that's a Tekken Fingers. man's hand. This looks very familiar. It's definitely a Tekken. Yes. Which Tekken, I cannot tell you. I can't tell you if it's new Tekken, if it's Tekken 7. Tekken 7 it is. Look at that. A couple of Tekkens cutting it up. Bully. Bully. Also known Bully in game. other territories as Canis Canum Edit. Is that true? Yes. It's Latin for dog eat dog. That's a great name. That's a that's a really good name. Secret of Mana. Ah, that's, nice. That's the Secret of Mana tree. I wouldn't have guessed that. Titular Secret of Mana tree. Uh, Apex Legends. Yes. Took me a second. What a game. We love. There's one game that uh, Yahtzee and I love. It's Apex Legends. I've played it like twice. A I've whole twice. It. Lego uh, Star Wars 1. Lego Star Wars, the video game. I believe so, yeah. Yep, there you go. Wolfenstein, the new order, of course. Could be Frankenstein. Could be Frankenstein game. You don't know. I mean, it could have been like the new Colossus, but it wasn't. Worms, worms, the original, the the original and best. Well, wow, wow, that was the original Amiga Worms before uh, Worms Armageddon sort of changed the art style. Yeah, yeah. S something. What? Squat? Squat? What is Squat? This? Squat? 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 <laughs> I don't know. What is that? S something. I keep thinking it's a C, but it could be an O. Soil. I think we're going to need another one. People are saying scum. I've never even heard of scum. A lot of people are saying scum. I don't know what that is. Scum. Do you know what that is? No, I've never heard of that. Neither have I. 2015? We were both professionals then. I feel like we should... Oh! Earthbound. He actually has mother. I have to pick an entry on the drop down, apparently. Nothing else will do. Mm. Hmm, that, that's that's, that's a gun. That's an old timey gun with the, the strap. Yeah. It's like a World it's War like shooter. A, like a Medal of Honor? Medal of Honor. Uh, original. Nope. Correct saga, though. <sighs> There's no way I could tell the difference between any of the Medal of Honors. New. Nope. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not airborne. No. Um, Allied Assault? That was Allied an Assault. One. It's not Warfighter. Warfighter was. No, that well, was a there's new something one. Assault. Pacific, Pacific assault. assault. There we go. Got there in the end. <laughs> Eventually. 
Mm-hmm. Warframe? Mm, yeah, that looks like a Warframe. Yep. Beautiful. Oh, Devil, Devil May, May Cry. Cry. We are, we're at Devil May Cry 3 in our Devil May Cry replay with Casey. That game is Oh, you just, are you going ahead with that? Yeah, Devil May Cry 3 is great. Mario, Mario Party. Party? But which Devil one? Cry There's Party. like a million. I'm going to say Mario Party 2 because it looks like he's wearing a cowboy hat right now. Nice. <laughs> ah. Okay, one more. When I close my eyes at night, I think about Mario wearing a cowboy hat. Oh, what is this? El- El- Elden Ring? <laughs> Elden Ring. <laughs> Um, Garden Re- Garden Realms Garden Realms For- <laughs> Forbidden Realms Something Realms It could be, yeah, there could be a realm Seems like one of those games with realms uh, Golden Realm? Is that a thing? People are guessing Age of Wonders Golden. 3 Golden Realms Aha That was it All right, well, I'm going to wrap up. i got to play some more great. Suicide Squad today. All right, well, thanks for... Gosh, when was the last time we actually finished a game on one of these streams? Yeah. Rare. I'm saying it's very rare. I know. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching us. What play, stroke, watch, Silent Hill, very unmemorable subtitle, The Short Message. Thank you. Yes. Uh, as I said, we won't be doing an edited a video for a while because they're on hold while uh, Adventure is Nigh is on full steam ahead for the next few weeks. Did you guys know but, that it takes uh, just tens of hours of planning beforehand? Yeah, it's Jack's got to like write a whole world. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, don't forget, uh, my latest fully ramblematic video came out today. It was on the subject of Graven, mm-hmm. a sort of uh, in between placeholder title while I was getting my Persona 3. And my Suicide Squad reviews ready. Mm-hmm. Biggie's on the way. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was an interesting uh, game to talk about. I mean, I was playing like I was hoping for Persona Three to come in like earlier in the week. And it was I was like playing it came just too late. It was like yeah, at was, the end of a Friday, I think. Yeah, yeah. It came out at the end of Friday, and I was like, "Well, fuck you!" But luckily, by that point, I'd played Graven enough to realize that I really hated it, and re- I was kind of interested in the way I was hating it. Good. That's always a positive, and that's good review fodder. Yeah. Um. Yes, so Persona 3 will be next week If you can't wait that long I've got a semi ramblematic dropping tomorrow, I believe A semi? Yeah, I always like giving people a semi <laughs> uh, uh, What's the topic? Can you, can you share with the class? It is on the subject of post-punk as an aesthetic Ooh. Something I've occasionally referred to And never really explained what I'm talking about When I say it Where you explain it? Uh, so that'll be tomorrow. Also, uh, New Adventure is Nigh on Saturday. Or brand new Adventure is Nigh. We've finally got the episodes that we hadn't gotten to before everything went down with The Escapist. Oh my gosh, my golly. It's a really good episode. It'll be the episode where we finally pull off that heist that was left on a cliffhanger for so long. It's finally happening. So that'll be fun. Uh, what else have we got for the nice people, Marty? Um... Yeah, we'll be back uh, in. I'll be back in about an hour with uh, Casey and Nick uh, to uh, do Firelink. We'll be talking about all those uh, the the Xbox kerfuffle as well as thoughts on the Final Fantasy stuff that dropped yesterday. Uh, tomorrow we'll have a pair of streams. Shoot the shit, normal time, three p.m. Central, and then Devil May Cry. We'll be continuing at seven p.m. Central. Might be finishing it tomorrow. If not, we'll be finishing it the following week. Uh, and then, yeah, that's just about it. Just to uh, watch, watch, watch all our stuff, read all our stuff. I just yes. appreciate it. Thanks for being great, chat. You were just, you were wonderful, uh, top to bottom, especially Onyxia with a last minute $2 donation. Suicide Squad, I'm very sorry, Yats. Well, you know, it turns out it's not actually that long. I'm pretty confident I'm going to get through the campaign either today or tomorrow. That's nice. That's one positive. So, you know, there's, there's that to be said for it. But, you know, it's not very long is never a promising start if that's the only positive thing you can think yeah. to say about it. Hey, like today's game. At least it's not very long. All right. Well, I guess we'll say goodbye then. Come on, Toffee. Wonderful. Where keep? Bye, everyone. Bye. Look at, the, look at the camera. Look at the camera. It loves you. Bye. Oh, Toffee. Bye. How are you stinky again when you had a bath just this morning? Bye, everyone.